welcome to the Receipt Podcast. This week brought to you by MeUndies, ExpressVPN, and DoorDash. I'm Gus. I'm Gavin. I'm Barbara. I'm Blaine. And I'm Gus. <laughs> welcome back, dude. You spent a lot of time in an airport yesterday. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, we're not going to start this out with flight Did talk. you miss Thrones? Oh, no, I didn't. I made sure. Yeah, so I was stuck in Chicago for eight hours coming out from Star Wars Celebration. By the way. Oh, that was in Chicago, right? Yeah, it was in Chicago. I was going to say, like, you shouldn't connect through Chicago because you'll be delayed, but... If you already there, it was already there. <laughs> no, How does that work? Yeah. Are you just—it's just every flight out of Chicago delayed. Every flight that I've ever taken through there. But it was also Hours. mid. What was it? Midway. Midway. Midway, not O'Hare. But yeah, so like, oh, wow. we go there, and then I came super early. Long story short, nice. I was there for eight. Shut up. <laughs> I was there for eight hours, but they kept moving our terminals, and they're like, "Hey, you guys are over in A twenty nine. Okay, they're actually going to move you to B nineteen." Guys, we made a mistake. You're back at A29, and everyone's like, "Oh!" And there's like people throwing fits, women and children literally crying, and I was just cracking up. Oh my I was like, God. "This is fucking chaos," and I love it. And it was <laughs> awful. Day of my life w- wasted. How many hours were you there? Because you got there at so you got, got there at like 11:30 because I it was a 1:15 flight, but I wanted to be sure that I made past the uh, the uh, snow uh, traffic, and then I I think we departed finally at 7:45. So eight hours. Just in time for Game of Thrones to start while you're in the air. Yeah, yeah, Yeah. I missed out on some engagements from that. But like as soon as I got home, took a huge shit, and then I watched Game of Thrones. (laughs) It was great. (laughs) You did it, it, guys. Thank you. I did it. You did it. It, It's funny, like I I feel like so many people watch Game of Thrones that like my social media has like a blackout window in it. Where like nobody was really Oh, doing any anything? interactions Unless or anything. Unless you, you're the type of person who live tweets can't stuff. Which I don't don't get checking your feed in Game of Thrones? Yeah, you know, when the 10 minute dragon flying sequence was going on, I was like, well, let's see what's going on on Twitter. <laughs> Did you think, I haven't spoken to anyone about it, but I'm very aware. Wait, wait, should we preface spoilers I'm or anything? Spo- well, I mean, I'm not going to say anything different okay. to what you just said, but I'm very aware that there's only like six episodes this season. Yeah. I thought so it was wh- seven. So, or seven? Six. So, six? Six? I thought they were supposed to be longer too, and you made reference I think reference they do they get, get longer. They get longer. Okay, right, there's like again. an hour and 20 minutes, I think, is the third episode. Okay. But like five minutes into that sequence, or what felt like five minutes, I was like, Oh my god, we don't have time for this! <laughs> we don't have time! It's like, when is the shit yeah. gonna start happening? The, uh, the whole, and then uh, watching, like, everyone march in that long progression, and that, like, oh cool, we're gonna watch it in real time. They're not doing any of that fast travel stuff yeah. from last season. Yeah. It was, uh, it was cool, I enjoyed it. No, it was fine. I just expected more to happen, that because bit, we're so limited. That bit scared the shit out of me. Oh, oh yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the oh, scare oh, bit. Oh, right, right. We could, the kid. The scary part. There's a moment with a kid. Yeah. Is that I assume what you're talking about? It's just like I, I don't know. Blink this, once for yes. <laughs> yeah. This happened with this happened with Game of Thrones before, like each new season, but also like Westworld and just like any show you're getting back into, where it's just like, and we're catching you back up. Like yeah. that's all it is, and it's just like, yeah. fuck. I just want to get to episode three. I know, it felt like a little too slow of a start. Yeah, I rewatched all of season seven over the weekend. Just to Damn. like be ready and like I I finished the last episode of season seven like 15 minutes before the new episode of season eight nice. Like I timed, fresh. I timed it out perfect. I was like, all right, here we go Well, the new intro is cool. Like there was a new uh, intro, yeah. which I thought was neat Yeah, and I never considered that because surely as the story all culminates in the same place You don't need to see all the other locations that the story used to be at because mm-hmm. they've always been good at like removing places when they went out of The story, but then it was like yeah, but there's like nowhere left now. They, so it makes sense that they extended each place on the map. But they, and they also updated like the the items on the astrolabe. Like it oh. wasn't the same ones as before. Oh. Astrolabe. Yeah, the thing where Sun the orb f- thing. Okay. That's what I call my vagina. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. You were thinking it. Yeah. Uh, um, I think my favorite part though about Game of Thrones in general, especially this premiere episode, is just Bran's reaction to being reunited with his loved ones. It's just, that's, just That's a spoiler though, isn't it? Just, I mean, he got reunited with uh, Arya last season. Sure, yeah. Okay. And... S- did he? Sansa? Sansa. Yeah. yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just his reactions to that. Didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, they did do something, and I don't want to get into what specifically, but like, there was information that was set up. It's like, last couple seasons, and it's like, shit, whenever so-and-so finds out about that, fucking everything's going to go crazy. And they reveal all of that stuff in the last episode, mm-hmm. in episode one, and I was like, oh, wow, like, what other, what do they have now, like, left in the chamber to, to reveal, so. I guess we'll find out next episode. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But, uh, uh, probably my favorite part, though, of the whole episode was, um, the kiss and the dragon. Mm. Oh, yeah. 
staring at Jon Snow when Jon and Daenerys kissed. Spoiler. They kissed, they kissed last season. They did more they, than kiss. They fucked last season sure. while Tyrion watched. Um, but when they started kissing and the dragon was just staring at him. It someone, was a funny episode. It, yeah. There was, was a lot of, of good humor. Moments, yeah. Ah, they got to get it all out of the way before all the, the death and everything else happens yeah. this season. What I happened? thought for sure they were going to come out the gate since they're so limited on time. I thought for sure they're going to be like, they're going to kill off tons of characters right away to show you they're not fucking around anymore. When I first started watching the show, Jorah Mormont was my favorite character. And then I started like embarrassing Selmy a bit more. But Jorah is still alive, so I'm rooting for him to mm -hmm. survive to the end. Bron, yeah. my favorite. Bron. Go Bron. Bron had some uh, serious screen time. Yeah, I think that thing that they're setting up is gonna be bullshit. I think uh, if it even happens, it might be a a misdirect or yeah. you, you never know with that show. Was he was he the only one who got his knob wet? Uh, he did, yeah. With well, three women, but they're all talking about other dudes. Well, for like two seconds. Yeah. Also, have Come you on. heard that it's supposedly Spoiler. the guy they were talking about <laughs> was uh, Ed Sheeran's character yeah. from last season? Oh, really? When they're like, "Yeah, did you hear about Eddie the Ginger?" They're like, "Yeah, he got." His face burned off by a dragon. Uh, <laughs> <it's been erased. laughs> so they killed off Ed Sheeran. Well, like, he was still okay, but he had no eyelids. The guy they said uh, had no eyelids. I wonder if that was like fancy. Oh, yeah, how does he sleep? Ed right. Sheeran's character was called Eddie. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they already have an Ed uh, in the Night Watch. That's yeah. two Ds though. Okay. Mm. <laughs> totally different. Yeah. Actually. You fucking nerd. So anyway, Star Wars Celebration was fucking great, guys. <laughs> <laughs> how was it? Oh, it was actually pretty cool. You yeah. Were there for did you watch the Rise days? of Skywalker like teaser in a, like an auditorium with a bunch of people or anything? Yeah. So I was hanging out with a, uh, a group uh, that I was like doing some <coughs> content with and stuff like that. So I was at their booth and they were right by the celebration, uh, sh the Star Wars show stage. So I like they had them up on uh, these big screens and like the whole convention just fucking stopped and it was just like thousands and thousands and thousands of people were watching it and then they just went fucking nuts when they dropped the. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker, which I thought was a that was my only weird thing about that trailer. Like I thought it was cool overall, but like I don't know what to interpret from that. I don't think it's like from what from the trailer or from the name. The name. I don't yeah. know if it's like a literal like it's not gonna be Luke because you know, and then it's I don't think that it's Ray. So what if he comes back and it's his rise? He well, rises from the dead. I was talking to Wes and we were theorizing <clears throat> that maybe nice. it was uh, <laughs> the sky like Skywalker is like there's like Jedi, there's Sith, and then there's this new generation called Skywalker. That Ray or somebody creates, and I think like that's the rise of Skywalker. That's mm. kind of bullshit to me. You think so? Yeah. I mean, it's not Luke though. He's you know. rise like Lazarus. Uh, rise. I don't think they're gonna Ooh. or Altered Beast <laughs> or Phoenix. Oh, like Dark Phoenix, the movie that's not gonna be good. Or Levin Bread. Very good. Uh. -huh. uh <laughs> Passover's coming up this weekend. <laughs> 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 they also announced that. Um, or Bob Iger announced that they're gonna put a hold on Star Wars films after episode 9 for a little while. I heard that they did that. They did that right before the panel, I felt like. Because that news, I remember seeing all that news right before they were coming on for the 9 panel. Are they just always gonna work in trilogies? Yeah. Wait, so like, is that the main series that they're holding off from? Or is it just like all they, Star Wars? Uh, they said like all Star Wars universe. After Mandalorian and 9? Well, yeah, I think, yeah. So I, they said after nine. So huh. I think, when does Mandalorian come? Have they said, November. does it launch with Disney Plus? I think so. It's supposed to be coming out in November, apparently. Okay. Wait, what happened to our chat? It went away. God Goodbye, damn chat. it. Do you Why? like it? Do you I like did. having it? I loved having the chat. Okay. Eric, get her back. Okay. Did Gus tell you to get rid of it? I decided to get rid of it tonight. Wow. Ooh. Why is that? An Eric decision. I'm not a fan. Yeah, but you, I mean, don't, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it, Gavin? Hey, I mean, I'm used to it from off topic, so I don't. Mm. I'm fine. I never even noticed it. Glance it. We only had it, I think, two weeks. Yeah, last week and the week before. Yeah. How yeah. will we know so to stop talking about Game of Thrones if we can't see the people telling us to, to not shut talk up? About I see it. it. I'm watching it. I got you. I got you right here. Yeah, but here. we don't okay. have our laptops. We're engaged in conversation. Right. Yeah, that's why. Right. I, I monitor Welcome this. To the podcast. So we, everyone can be in conversation. Well, you don't worry about sassy it. Sassy today. Eric, who wronged you today? I just felt wronged by the chat. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is it because the chat doesn't like you? No, they cannot like me. That's Does fine. They call you I bad, just, Eric. I like I like engaging conversation, and I feel like we get it more without the chat. Personally, hmm. Mm. Yeah, Gus. I I told him to get rid of it. You're the one asking for it. <laughs> if, um, if, was, one, was, if all of us can't have it, one of us can't. Gus has always had it. <laughs> <laughs> None of us are all of us. Like the Three Musketeers. Yeah. 
I bet you'll put it back on when Bernie's back, though. I absolutely will put it back when Bernie comes back, yes. Because he wants it. He's the one who asked for it. I'm asking for it now. <sighs> Eric, don't give a shit about <laughs> you, doesn't. Barbara. Eric, don't care. I didn't find the company. Let me see what I can do. Can find it. Thanks, Eric. Hey. <laughs> hey, the chat. Okay, you can take oh, it away if you want. Oh, what's up, chat? That was, hey. that was pretty fast. Oh, oh it's gone. <laughs> it was brief. Uh, so, the did you also see the Mandalorian? Teaser or was it like a sizzle while you were there? Well, so like that was the one panel I wasn't gonna be able to go to because I was gonna be flying out at that time. Oh, really? So I was in the airport waiting. So uh, you could have gone to. Yeah, it. you could have seen it. Yeah, and I had I have a friend that he was working. He works at Lucas, and he was like, "Hey, if you need to get any panels, just like come with me." And I was like, "Fuck yeah, cool, cool." And then uh, I didn't get to go, but uh, someone leaked out all that stuff because they they actually cut it off, to cut the stream off, so it was just for the people that were in the panel, which I don't know why they would do that. Um, I think to if anybody was those who went we do that all the time well I know but if it's <clears throat> if you're at celebration though There's a very finite amount of that group that's gonna be able to go to your panel So I think in the very least you should show it off to the people that are going to the convention um, But yeah, they just it was just the people that were in that auditorium Which mm. you know like I get you know like hey, it's an exclusive for the people that bought tickets to come but you know A lot of people that wanted to get into that and couldn't so how big was the auditorium? Uh, I can't recall. I think it was like a basketball stadium. Holy shit. But like in relation to like the Star Wars fandom, like that's peas. It's nothing. But is this the first year? It can't be the first year that the Star Wars celebration has existed. Oh, uh, no. no. So it's, uh, I think this is, they're going to start going on a, uh, kind of like D23. They're going to go every other year. Um, and I don't, I don't think we had one last year. I'm not sure. I just feel like I've never... Maybe I just didn't know anyone I, going to it, but I feel like I don't I think they've ever had it in Chicago, have they? Normally, I think of it as being like a. They've, they've had it in Chicago, have they? Okay, yeah. I think of it as being like a Anaheim. Yeah, Anaheim or Orlando. Orlando I think, thing. I think yeah. they had it in London. London might have been last year, or the year before. I can't recall. People are gonna be like fucking freaking out at me. That's the <laughs> shitty thing about Star. I love Star Wars. That is the one shitty thing where someone was like, "Hey, what'd you make of Palpatine's laugh?" And then I was like, "Oh, he's probably gonna come back as like a." A force ghost or something because like there's no way they're gonna bring back actual Palpatine like he's gonna be in like some Sith Jedi holocron or a Sith holocron thing and then everyone's like Sith can't be force ghost and it's like all right okay fine you got me ah. so and then people always still shit on me for pronouncing Yavin wrong <laughs> no. oh yeah it's Yavin I know but I call it Yavin just always think of Gavin yeah or nice. or I could just pronounce it how I want to pronounce it because it's a fucking space it's war with aliens, so stop taking it so seriously. You're yeah. the one who takes it so seriously, dude. <laughs> what? No, I. How? Tell you're, me how. You're all about it. You're so excited. Yeah, about I know. It. I fucking love it, but I'm also not gonna like attack an actress because she was a role and a character that I didn't like. Like that's the kind of side of Star Wars that I don't appreciate. What about the side that mispronounces Yavin? Uh, it's fine. I, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's it's weird. I I love Star Wars. I had a good time in the story. <laughs> That's great. You were there for like four days. Mm -hmm. But wouldn't it wouldn't it annoy you if I was like talking to you about Star Wars and I was like, yeah, and then Luke Skywalker just like is <laughs> all this he flipped off and his coat flipped away. Uh, then you <laughs> then yeah. you brought out his light sword. <laughs> yeah, I mean he does say light sword, Nate. Doesn't he say laser sword? Oh, he does. Shit. Well, Gus is out out nerding me. <laughs> actually, uh, actually, lasers aren't. Um, Are there any movies like that that exist for you that if people get the lore wrong or Pronunciation wrong. Every movie ever <laughs> pisses you off. Yes. Oh. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I'm sure. I'm more upset when people mispronounce actual words or like real words in everyday conversation. Epitome. Epitome. Or <laughs> oh fuck. That doesn't happen That's anymore. People who, who used to say memes. Oh yeah. What's what's that? Meme. Memes. Oh memes. Okay. To be fair, it, it was. Just spelled out on the internet. Does anyone actually know the real pronunciation of it? It's a uh, it's gif. <laughs> you talking about that or memes? <laughs> memes. I'm sure. I'm sure it's memes. Meme. Memes. Memes. So France is on fire. Yes. Well, Dude. not all of France, but I found out I had a voice <laughs> recording session, and like it was going great, and then they're like, "Oh yeah, it looks like Notre Dame's gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna lose it." And I was like, what? And they're like, yeah, it's just on fire. And that was the first I heard about it. And I was like, well, that's a really shitty downer note to end on a recording session. So, yeah. like, they couldn't save it? Is that the news? I was think it's it, still on fire. Was it arson? <clears throat> they no, don't know. There's been renovations ongoing, and they think maybe it's related to the construction oh, God. that's going on. Uh, but the spire fell down. So yeah. I heard that once they lost that, then yeah. I, I think over. I heard someone say that there'll be nothing left of the frame. 
Wow. It was like, I think, what, 850 years old? That's fucking tragic. That's yeah. like, yeah. that Can't, is, yeah. That wouldn't be cool again for another 850 years. Yeah. Would you, I mean, what do, you, what do you do in that case? Like, you're, you're in charge of Notre Dame and, you know, it's, it's burned down. Do you rebuild it to look exactly the same again? I reckon you got to, right? Do you make it the Notre Dame? You know? What's up, dude? Good to see you. Only not, I not only is it too soon, okay. it's like still happening. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's it's too point. soon, Blaine. <laughs> uh, yeah. Too now. You have, you have some it's shame. Too now. It is tragic, though. It's like... It survived all the wars. Fuck. And then it just burnt down in renovation. Because some contractor... Yeah, suppose, probably like tipped over a heat or something. Maybe, right. We don't, we don't know for sure yet, but... Like, they're, they spent... What was it? I think the... It was like a six... 0.5 million euro project to uh, to renovate it. Oof. What's the insurance like on that? That's what I asked. That's exactly what I was like. Who insures that? Yeah. And once it burns down, how much do you have to pay out for that? Like it's more than just rebuilding the thing. At least there's good record of exactly the shape of it that they could rebuild it exactly the way it was. But I mean, it wouldn't be the same. It's not it the, be the same because it's the historic value and and. I don't know. It's like rebuilding something. Yeah, that's such an like old the, building. The Globe it's, Theater burned down it's not in old London, anymore. and they rebuilt it. But they like just rebuilt it again in a different place. I didn't go to the Globe Theater when I visited London though, because I knew it was the fucking fake. So I was like, <laughs> right? I mean, like, it's important. Yeah. Because I feel like if it was the one in that space, it'd be so much cooler than what is like now a car park, and the the new Globe is like slightly over. Yeah. Uh, has there been another like? Kind of, I don't want to call it a tragedy at the scale. There's been worse things that happened, 9 11. But, like, uh, has there been another loss what? of a major monument or like something of this historic that's like, I guess, the polar ice caps and the, oh, the coral reef? Mm. <laughs> Great but like, reef. like Great actual reef. physical buildings. Yeah, I wonder if there's been another thing that's like comparable to this. Those are all kind of natural occurrences. Tower of Pisa lent over a little bit. Yeah, but that's that's that makes it even cool and yeah. cooler quirky. Well, look at it go Woo. It's real leaning. Yeah, I mean stuff was blown up in the wars, wasn't it? But Yeah, or I mean or there's got to be so other old. things. I mean, we just wouldn't have record of it, right? Like if something Got blown up or fell down two or three hundred years ago. We probably wouldn't remember it as much now yeah. That could have been really old. I guess two, hundred, two or three hundred years isn't that long ago. It's just crazy to think that stuff can change, like stuff that's been around for centuries can change in your lifetime. Yeah, weird. like that. Like, like today felt weird. I was like, "Shit!" So if they don't, if they don't rebuild that, then you know, my kids will never know about that thing. Probably. Do you yeah. have kids anytime soon? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, it's uh, it's like one of the things you take for granted that you think like it'll always be there. It's always been there. Yeah. And then <clears throat> no, no, it's just gone. It's just not there anymore. I mean, I'm sure people felt that way about the Twin Towers, but they weren't there nearly as long. How no. long were they up? I think 30, 60s, 40 years? 70s? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know when they were built. I want to say early 70s. Yeah. God, it's crazy how not long ago that feels. 2001? Yeah. And, like, it's a long time ago. Yeah, very long time ago. It just it does not seem that long ago. I guess it's because I was 12? Wait. <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> Uh, 23? 23. Okay. So probably it doesn't even seem like that long for you. It does. I mean, it was like, it, it, it's it's a weird point in my life where it's like pre-Rooster Teeth, right? Like now I look back and I think like Rooster Teeth is, has been going on for so long. It's like, that's my entire life. Yeah. But that's something that existed before we started this. So. You're telling me. Yeah. Apparently there's a museum in Brazil that got burnt down. I don't know if that was recent. People are like, Library of Alexandria. But it's like, we weren't around for that. <laughs> Yeah, like I mean, anything built in the Western, like North or South America, wouldn't be as old as Notre Dame. Yeah, yeah, that place is. Well, I guess wild. like Central American, like Mayan ruins. Yeah, would be the thing you'd have to compare it to. That is that is the crazy part about going to one is like, oh, I'm eating lunch at a place that's older than my country. Oh right, library in Brazil held all their historical documents. That's, that's what Nick sucks. says. He said it was last month. Yeah, it was like I think it was a month ago. Damn. Month ago. That sucks, dude. Hitting reset button. I don't Wait, know. Why, why would you like keep all of that in one place and then not have Back like, it a up. sprinkler or something? <laughs> I don't know. Or like you make sure that it's not gonna. That's not gonna happen. A sprinkler, dude. That's like you yeah. put fire out. Why are you laughing at me? 
<laughs> I feel like it'd be worth I get it. Yeah. So you put all your valuable stuff Someone under get the, the hose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was it? Uh, well, uh, all this was going on. Trump tweeted that they should uh, have water tankers, flying water tankers, fly over and dump water on Notre Dame to put it out. It's good that uh, he's uh, thanks for your contribution. Dedicating his time to. Uh, it's really to easy to come up out. with solutions to problems after the fact. Yeah. <laughs> So sorry, like didn't. a sprinkler. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's sort of a big sprinkler. <laughs> it's really a, it's a sky sprinkler. Yeah. Did Just you have see, one on the ready at all times? Did you see that uh, world's biggest plane that did a that took a test flight over the weekend? It's no. It, it looks like two planes sharing one giant wing and it has six engines, and uh, I think it's a I think it was a. Is it two fuselages? Yes. Really? It was. A, Where's the cockpit? A, two fuselage. It has two cockpits, but one of them nice. doesn't have anyone in it. Um. What it's, what happens to the other it was, one? It was a venture by Paul Allen, so that they can uh, there it is. Oh, <gasps> they can attach what the fuck rockets <clears throat> to it. So it takes off and then it launches rockets with satellites to make it easier and cheaper to get things into space. It I've just seen, looks like two landing skid things for for water. Like I feel like you could put a big fuselage on top of that, and it would just look like a big plane. <laughs> There's a bigger plane than that. I mean, like that might be no, that the, is the widest, plane. but like that fusel that. That's not a huge fuselage. Look at the people compared to it. Like, yeah, look at the cockpit window. It's, it's like, bloody tiny in comparison to yeah. the rest of it. But there's like jumbo jets that are way like I feel like I just told you that's the biggest plane dude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Listen, width like in terms of like the width, yeah, and then the length probably. But like I feel then like what's the other dimension you're talking about? <laughs> it's not as it's not as deep as other planes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like you can't. Yeah, it's got the length and the width, but it's lacking on the depth. But you can't. Plane, like, what? That's that's like that's a Chad plane, but I've seen chode planes that are like <laughs> thick and round and girthy. Like the that's girthy, not girthy yeah. at all. It's talking about like the, the it's, thickness. It's of gonna hold this a one. rocket in the middle. It's like the difference between like some dude's thumb and then other people's like pinkies and ring fingers. You know. So that's just know like that's just a shitty bitch plane. I mean, it's like it's fine. It's pretty big, but it's like it's I, not chody it's, enough. But can you imagine them? The, they put the last rivet in it. Wow, look at all those like decades of research. It's fine. I mean, it, I mean, like fine. I expected you to be able to like cross between one fuselage to the other. Oh, yeah, what you if want to like, tunnel like a bridge? <laughs> like, what if my wife is like caught on the other side? I don't have a wife, but if like you know, like she's in the other <laughs> little cockpit away. thing, you need a rope bridge going between them. <laughs> <laughs> are, are are they attached at the in the middle at the wings? There? Yes. Interesting. But can you climb through the wings? <laughs> what, can what, you do, ever? what do you need? You know when you're on a plane plane and you see another one flying and you think, I need to get to that plane now. Yeah. You what don't if, need, you're, you're on that plane. What, what if that no. plane starts going down and then you need to get in the other one? <laughs> or what if you're the pilot and you get in the cockpit and you're like, oh shit, I left my keys in the other cockpit. <laughs> and you're like, I gotta go all the way down and out and get back up into the plane? Oh, I'm, I'm just saying you, that's a, that's I've a seen, dumb design. I've seen chodier planes. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, Gus, look at the chodiest look plane. At so is that chodiest. Chodiest? That's a big fucking plane. <laughs> look how big that thing. That, that fits so many people. Look how look that. But it's that literally truck, shorter and thinner. But that car, that truck that's in front of it, looks like the same size as the people in the last photo. No, like, you know, like that's a huge plane. <laughs> Give me a picture in picture. I want to see both planes together. <laughs> Not in the same. Scale. Can we get a scale? Not in the same side scale. by side. Get a banana in there. Someone get the blueprints of this chode plane. Which plane is chodier? <laughs> <laughs> that uh, the the big chonk one that we just saw. <laughs> Chonky. <laughs> the, 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 how, what are the classifications of plane bling? Is it chonk, chode, and chad? <laughs> Is that what we've gone through so far? Yeah, that's that's it. So. The the twin fuselage plane's a Chad, mm -hmm. and then the other one that we saw is a Chonk. Well, that would say that yeah, he's a Chonk. Now that I saw it. See, look, look at there's a vehicle right Zero. by the. Oh no, it's too small to see. God dang, <laughs> Eric. Please zoom in the one on the right. Well, the one on the right <laughs> it has people next to it, and the people look like but still normal size compared to the to the to the other plane. <laughs> but then the other one had that truck, and it fucking dwarfed that truck. There you was know a, how there was big a, the truck was. There was a vehicle in the other one too, wasn't there? Yeah, but it was like it was like a tanker, so it didn't really. I don't know. I'm not impressed. That don't impress me much. I can't like sing again, the song. No, like <laughs> touch. So what would be what would be impressive to you, Blake? Okay, if it, it, it flies, was, it has wheels. If it was two fuselages like that big one, or like two 747 fuselages, and they're <laughs> stuck together, and then they got a little bridge between the two. And then, um, what if they just had little handles that came down from the wing and you could just fly? Monkey bar across? Yeah. It's like, nah, nah, nah. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. I want two big old 
Cho Chad Chode. <laughs> that's that's impressive. Look at the look at the size that's only got, of that. That's only got two engines though. That's a small plane. How does that lift its what? That looks like it should not work. That's impressive. <laughs> Those other ones have that might six be, engines. That might be a Photoshop, right? No. no, that's the one that carries the other thing, isn't it? Yeah, it carries, it carries parts like for the A380. A380. That's cool. Yeah, it's like a big open back. I feel like that <clears throat> plane would sound really stupid flying. Like, uh, like really loud and painful. You don't think it would sound like a dolphin? Or a whale? It's a missed opportunity, really. Beluga's a whale, right? Yeah. That and the Shamu plane. They should make whale yeah. noises when they're in the air. <laughs> Uh, so Bernie, I, I guess Bernie's watching. Hi, Bernie. Uh, he sent me a link. I guess that the uh, the <laughs> Taliban destroyed giant Buddha statues. Oh, uh, oh. from the second century. <laughs> where is he? Uh, I don't know where he is. He, uh, so they were he was just in his office. <laughs> they were carved in the sandstone cliff in the fifth century. So that's like fourteen hundred years old. Wow. So almost double. I mean, there's going to be a point where a bunch of ancient things just start getting destroyed. Just, like Petra. Just over time. Yeah, we call it retirement age. Nice. Nice, right? 65? 65. There was like a, a Nazi general that was told or commanded to destroy like major <coughs> things in France when they were occupying, but they had to start leaving because uh, the Allies were taking back France. Are talking about Monument Man? It, what? Is that a movie about the guy or something, or it's a movie about the soldiers who went to try to recover the artifacts? Oh, or the art oh, like Clooney and yeah. You know, all those guys. I don't know if that was the one, but anyways, he, he was told that he was have to like blow up the Eiffel Tower or whatever, and he's like, "Nah, I'm not gonna do that." So, hmm. well, th I mean, you, th you always hear guy. stories about stuff like that. Like um, Kyoto was supposed to be the target for the atomic bomb that really? the U.S. dropped on Japan to oh. end World War II, but uh, like, I guess like. The story is, who knows for sure, the story is that the Secretary of War at the time had spent his honeymoon in Kyoto and liked it. So that's why they uh, reshuffled the list and Kyoto did not get uh, an atomic bomb dropped on it. Interesting. Wow. It's like, that's, that's so fucked up. Like, that affects so many people. Sometimes, yeah, when I think so of, like, people. the butterfly effect of certain things, it just blows my mind. How something as simple as him going to visit that place made him be like, oh, I like it. Nah, don't blow it up. <laughs> we'll nuke some other city. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. There's still tons of people who die and... Of still, course, still no, I'm not saying thing. it's yeah. not still terrible, but it's just crazy to think that's what did it for him. I mean, if you were right under that nuke, it'd be the the best way to go you could have possibly imagined. Just instantly, just evaporate. <clears throat> it'd be like you'd be dead before your nerves could even send any message to your brain. Your like nerves wouldn't also, be there anymore. That's like some car crashes too, though. Like nah, it but all you still happens. have to hit your face against something. Yeah, but I feel like it's in such a speed that your it's again your brain, your body doesn't. Understand, you're just you're missed. You're just, <laughs> <laughs> missed. You just evaporate because your body can't handle it. In a car anymore. crash, what about death? It's just like, just like powder all over. <laughs> I don't know. Death going through a black hole. You oh still my have God. to be like, you'd have to get all the time dilation and then you'd be crushed. What Surely. if you put you in head first though? <laughs> like it gets rid of your brain. That way you're fine. If you go feet first, that's bad. Yeah. If you go head first, it's fine. Apparently, extremely painful. <clears throat> Is it? A black hole? Mm hmm Well, I think there was like a small one versus a really oh. big one. They announced an hour or so ago that Celebration 2020 will be in Anaheim. Oh, cool. I'll be going to that. So, so yeah, what, every... what are you saying about falling into a black hole, Barbara? T Trevor was explaining <clears throat> it to me because he knows all this stuff from being a rocket scientist, but... Ask what he thinks about the plane. Oh, yeah, please do. I bet he thinks the other one looks like a bitch. Oh, should I try, <laughs> should I try to see if he's still here? Yes. <laughs> so we can get him over here? Yeah. I want... I'll text him. Uh, so I, I, Do you have I, a side question? But he was yeah, explaining yeah. The, 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 the black hole thing? Yeah, I'll, I'll get him to explain it too. <laughs> but I'm I want you to explain it because you'll mess it up. I will mess it up. Let's it was it. something like a, a very small black hole versus a huge one where it's like. They're still big. Like a small black hole is one still. Of, one of them. Yes, of course. One of them would be like extremely painful to go through because like it would separate your atoms. I need those to live. I'm gonna stop trying to even Dude, like, so we like, Sally LePage is like, huh, some disturbance <laughs> in the force. <laughs> yeah. huh. That's not like the one Matthew McConaughey went through in Interstellar, because that didn't separate his atoms. Spoiler alert. No, he, he was just like, uh. <laughs> 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 the stuff was like. <laughs> I, mean, I feel like black holes were everywhere on Reddit last week, right? Like after that photo came out. we saw one for the first time. Right, we saw one for the first time. I saw black hole cosplays. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> Like everyone went all in on black holes. Like black holes were the thing to capitalize on for like it is cool that two or three days. They are exactly how 
humanity predicted. Yeah, the in day, appearance. The day before <laughs> the photo was released, I watched this YouTube video. This guy uh, who was like, "Black hole photo's coming out tomorrow." You know, he, he showed. He's like, "This is probably what it's going to look like," and it was actually really close. Mm. And then it's like this eight minute video about. I'm going to explain to you why the black hole is going to look like this when you see it. And talking about like the way that it bends light and everything. It was like, it was, it was super interesting and super easy to follow and watch. It was like, oh, okay, I understand. Can I you get send this. me that to watch later? Yeah, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you I right wish now, there was you. that for literally everything that happens with science and the world. Just like a... Explanation sp thing. Like a sparks note. Spar spark spark notes. Sp spark note. I'm having a fucking aneurysm. You're good. You okay? Yes, I'm okay. Here, take a hundred dollars. Why Sweet. is it here? I don't know. It's not real. Yeah, it doesn't look it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Go try to buy something with that. I think it even says just for uh, motion picture use only. Okay. Oh yeah, it does. I didn't even have to look through. Okay, here. How to understand the image of the black hole? I'm gonna send it to you right now, Gavin. That way, uh, I don't forget. Have you had a reply from Trevor? Is he still here? Yeah. Is he on his way? <laughs> yes. Eric, get that picture of the bitch plane ready, <laughs> compared to. A chalk plane. <laughs> uh, here, okay. while we wait, while we wait for him to show up, I'm going to read this thing over here. Uh, I want to remind everyone: this, this episode, episode of the Rusty Podcast is brought to you by Me Undies. This episode of the Rusty Podcast is brought to you by Me Undies. You probably spend about ninety percent of your life in your underwear, so don't you think you owe it to yourself to make sure you're wearing the softest undies in town? That's why I only wear Me Undies. Uh, it's true; we've talked about them for a long time. It's the absolute best underwear I've ever owned. It's the only underwear I ever want to wear. Uh, these undies are so soft, they make Bob Ross's voice sound like Gilbert Gottfried. That's soft. They're so soft that Kenny G thinks about them to get inspired to write his next song. That's soft. Uh, MeUndies uses the coveted micro-modal fabric, which is a full three times softer than cotton. So take that, big cotton. Uh, not only will you feel your loins are being hugged by joy itself, but MeUndies gives you multiple style options for both men and women. Men can now try the new boxer brief with fly. Uh, which is the same great cut as boxer brief, but now with an added option for guys who prefer to go through the gate versus over the fence. And we've talked about that before. Uh, MeUndies is the go-to for the softest loungewear on this side of the Rio Grande. Hang out in their super comfy lounge pants and onesies. Uh, yes, MeUndies, <laughs> MeUndies makes onesies and they're incredible. So to get 15% off your first pair, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash Rooster Teeth. That's MeUndies.com slash Rooster Teeth. Thank you, MeUndies, for sponsoring this episode of the Receipt Podcast. We've got Trevor. Trevor's back over we here. We do have Trevor. All right, Trevor. We know it's it's uh it's not quite your thing. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm, I'm doing well. How are you? You uh, look good. nervous, Trevor. I'm a little nervous because it's like it's like going into an exam that you haven't studied for, but it's also been like five years. All right, warm up question. Yeah, warm up. Before warm -up we get to question. the black hole, we want you. Are you gonna ask him the question? No, you, you go ahead. Give, give me up to speed. We're what, gonna show you two planes. About? All right, look at me. Don't look at the screen. <laughs> okay. We're gonna show you the world's biggest plane. Wait, okay. we have the two planes side by side first. And then the no, big, the yeah. And I, I want to know you, one want, after the other. I want to know your. Can we show the big one first? I want to show okay. you. I want. Shh, 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 look at me. Look at me. I'm looking at you, Blaine. Keep looking at me. All right, Beautiful. now pull up the world's biggest plane. I want your. I want your thoughts on it. My thoughts. You probably already seen it because I know that you like. No, pull up the one picture of the one plane <laughs> because the other one makes it look. I'm not gonna. No. I glanced. Am I supposed to look? No, look at you me. I'm looking at you. Don't break eye contact with me. Pull up the picture of the world's biggest plane, Eric. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you had it before. Yeah, how like, would you not okay, just there. do it side by what side? What do you think of that, Trevor? Tell I'm me. Look, am I looking at it you now? You can look okay. at it. Oh, okay. Um, That's a big plane, right? Look at that big... Go on. What's, what are your reactions? First off. Well, my first thoughts are, what's the purpose here? They're going to attach rockets to it in the middle part. Yeah. Uh, that way they'll oh, fly. Oh, is, is this a drop plane? So you basically, no, yeah. Um, yeah, then, yeah, the rocket detaches. I've seen, yeah, I've seen space. like planes like this designed mostly by students because that was the, the gig. I was a student. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you would use this, you'd fly up, you'd drop a rocket from the middle, psh, it would launch off and go up, basically. So you wouldn't need as much like thruster fuel to get it off the ground right. from just a stationary. All right. Um, so, but what are your <laughs> thoughts on it? Though? My That's thoughts the have always been that it seems like. It's going to be very, very heavy because, which seems like, you don't want a heavy plane. That's a waste of energy. Do you think it's like they, a bitch plane? Like it's, if, if it's not heavy, they made it then it's, of, they then made it's it going to tear itself apart. Instead of uh, uh, aluminum or Do magnesium. Do you think that's a big plane? Yeah. Do you think you've seen bigger planes? Uh, seen bigger planes? <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Let's see the other Length plane. Lengthwise, yes. At, like so the, Blaine, the wingspan, though, definitely not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see the other plane. What? what this is Blaine's 
uh, the Blaine plane, the Blaine's version of a bigger plane. Look at look at that. That's a big dick of a plane, man. Look at yeah. the size of it. Yeah, that's a cool plane. It it's taller. It does. It just looks like an A three eighty, but with <laughs> smaller engines, so they put more of them. But like, that's a cool plane. <laughs> like, go back to the other pictures. It looks. It looks. Dopey. What what Blaine was saying is that <laughs> that plane is bigger. It looks like the big, bigger than the biggest plane. That's bigger, isn't that an opinion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there are there are Blaine. I hate to break it to you. There are facts in this he, world. He said <laughs> that the world's biggest plane may have greater width and greater length, but that this plane has more depth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Like they go. Oh, that's that, a that plane. <laughs> wheels that has, that's a thick this? plane, and that plane probably definitely weighs more. Yep. World's biggest plane. Mm. So there's biggest is size plane. <laughs> no, I think you're talking what, about heaviest. What do we? I mean, big like, is just that's that's relative, man. No. What big to me is just like. Is it is how that you, you kill yourself when you look in the mirror? Really? Is that is that what you're no. saying? Relative. What? Well, okay. Let's leave this as undetermined for now. No, I think Trevor broke no. the tie. I think he agrees. With no, it. Trevor agrees that you're wrong. I'm saying that the other one's definitely bigger, but this yep, one's so thick. world's biggest plane. No, yep. he's saying the wait. The other the, one is I'm bigger. saying the other Shit. one is is. <laughs> Longer and wider with right. the wingspan, but this one's just fat. Yeah. So what's better, yeah. Barbara? Long and wide or fat? Hmm. I'm gonna say long and wide. All right, there you go. <laughs> Settled. All right. Now on to the real science stuff. Yeah. I don't even want to hear his so, thoughts on black holes. I was doing a terrible job at explaining this, but you were talking about <clears throat> black holes. And if you got because I was like, what would it be like to get sucked into a black hole? Uh-huh. Kind of like this conversation. And okay. you were explaining to me how there's like a bigger version of a black hole and a smaller version Super of a black, massive black hole. <laughs> Super massive black hole. Right. Like a, a middle of a galaxy black hole. Yeah, 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 exactly. <clears throat> and the other version. <laughs> and just a regular just black hole. Black hole. Like the one right. we saw the other day. And which how, might just be, you know, middle and about in a galaxy somewhere. Just, and how it would be really painful right. to go through. Because you'd just be torn apart by your atoms. I mean, your atoms would be torn apart. That's right. Oh, I said like, your Like, you would be deconstructed to your, like, to your quarks, like to your finest like essence. Even your atoms, you're like, it's not atoms being pulled off of you, it's the atoms being pulled apart. Right. But why would that hurt? I mean, I, there, I, who, who knows? Depends you could die feelings. right away. Yeah. Or <laughs> you could just slowly be like, cause, cause what happens, like if you teleported into a black hole or very close to the center, to the singularity, you would die instantly. <laughs> but if you like slowly floated in to a supermassive black hole, You'd pass the event horizon. You'd never be able to make it out again. Mm. And as you floated in, you would slowly. There's there's a point where, of course, a point of death, right? But like, I don't know where that would be. But as you float in, or you just you'd slowly be stretched apart, and so you'd still be alive, and that would just. So if what, you my, 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 my question. What if you tuck into a bowl. Same. My question Same. is, like, would, would it be less painful ball. if you went in head first, that way your brain's done, or would it be more painful about to go something feet that's first? Essentially the size of the solar system. <laughs> the difference between yeah. that and, and being this way around. Like, I think I think it would make a big difference. I'm thinking of like one a of those... difference of how much well, time? Like, like point one of a nanosecond <laughs> That's like being asked, like, would you rather blend yourself instantly from your feet first or your head first? Like... <laughs> It's gonna hurt for a split second Head longer first. one way. Oh, that's like, do, that's we, like, do we have a, a, a pole? Oh my god. That's like, do you want to stand under an atomic bomb on your hands or on your feet? <laughs> it's like, it's like a on your feet, millionth obviously. of a second. Because then you're be not dead. tired. So, I, believe it or not, I am not a man of science. <laughs> I don't know everything there is to know. I know a lot, but not everything. Jesus. With the black holes, is there a theory that things get reconstructed on another end, or is it just you go and it's just like, Pfft. I Maybe mean, like someone's like writing I'm sure down. There like, is. I'm sure there is a theory that something gets <laughs> spat out the other side. What I always thought, you know, like that would be a compelling way to say, like, that is like things get sucked into the singularity. And then on the aft end, somewhere else, maybe that's somebody else's Big Bang, and then there's a universe spewing all that shit back. Yeah. All the other I, I just want to point out, I'm winning this poll handily. Headily. Head first. <laughs> first head first. I think a lot of people choose head first because then, like, you don't, ha you're dead quicker and you don't have to deal with the pain. That's what I said. Yeah. They're making fun of me for saying that. I think it's completely irrelevant. Probably. <laughs> I want to know. I want to see you go in it as a fucking ball. <laughs> Although, if time slows down for you, and you got to look at your own legs get really slowly deconstructed. I guess that head first would be better. Yeah. That'd be cool though to watch. <clears throat> watch your own legs rubber out in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be like a fucking stretch Armstrong. Just yeah. Like, yeah. That's what I picture. 
Or like uh, that scene in Avengers Infinity War where, uh, what's her name? Gamora's, oh, Gamora's sister. Nebula? Nebula is like stretched stretched out. Like that's how I picture it. I was thinking it. like when uh, they encounter Thanos on, was it Nevermore? And uh, he like, he alters nowhere. reality or nowhere? Yeah. Whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he like alters, and he like turns him into a spring and like makes Drax into like a cube. Yeah. Cubes yeah. And stuff. That's what it reminds me of. Someone's asking for a plane plot. I do want to know which one is the chonkier plane. Because let's be real. <clears throat> I think we all know. We don't uh, even need I, to do I it. think I handily, I think I won uh, the uh, head, head first, first or feet first poll. Won. Maybe we can get a a poll for the planes. People Chonky can vote planes? on which think, plane is better. I think we already know which plane is better. Chad plane or chonk plane? Chonk plane is better. Uh, so we uh, well, so I sent um, uh, an image to you guys in the control room. I don't know if if you got that or if you can if you can bring it up. It's so you know everyone's been looking at this photo of the black hole, and X XKCD did a great thing where they did a size comparison to put into perspective how big that black hole is compared to our universe. Oh wow! So it's like in that little middle part is the Sun and Pluto, and you can see Voyager. Holy shit! And then that's how and big then the Voyager black hole is. is out of the solar system. Right. That's fucking cool. So it's like just to put it in perspective how giant that black hole is. Oh, that oh says Pluto. God. Okay. Yeah, so it's fuck. Damn. That's terrifying. And uh, and the pull from it would be it would kill anything from beyond that picture probably. Probably. And may maybe slowly, but you're going in. Depends if you go head first or feet. Well, I guess first. you wouldn't go in, you just go around a lot until you went in. <laughs> like nothing would ever just be like <laughs> straight in, right. Or would it? I mean, Stephen Hawking believes that black holes can, go can lead into other black dimensions. Holes? I mean, can you go straight into the Earth? You can go straight into anything. It just... You can't go straight into the Sun. Why not? Well, there's no, you could never accelerate away from the Earth fast enough. If you flew, like if you canceled out all the momentum you gain from launching off the Earth, you just counter yeah, but Earth's given how momentum. Fast is the Earth and you basically freeze yourself relative to the Sun, then you just fall straight in. But from what but I've what heard is that it's, speed. It's, that like, oh, I don't know. But I don't I've know heard it's very difficult to actually hit the Sun. Because you'll get pulled towards it and then miss it, and then you just enter orbit. But you would just, yeah, you'd end up just be like, oh, right, you're like just swinging like, around it. Yeah, yeah, you'd have to That's why leave comets. Earth at the speed the Earth is moving. <laughs> yeah, so which you just, I think it's like tens of thousands of miles per hour. I don't know. Off the In top the opposite of my head. direction that it's orbiting, I'm I'm confused. Well, yeah, because Earth is going around the sun. Okay, and then so, you leave. So you'd have to leave from the side. That it's going at the perfect the, the side, momentum, and you'd have to leave with enough speed to just hang yeah. in space. <laughs> it'd be like and jumping the Earth off would just haul away from you. Yeah, it'd be like jumping off the back of a car at the same speed that car is going. You so then you just land on the road nice and easy, like that MythBusters <laughs> thing where they fired the cannon at fifty miles an hour from uh, a car, that and, was it going, and it just goes like. <laughs> and so, <laughs> for clarification for the poll, Chad Plane was the dual fuselage one. Yeah, and, Ch and Chode, Chode Plane was the Russian <laughs> one. Chode Plane was the cool one. Chode Plane. Chonky, people, like, chonky. people like Chad Plane right Chad now. Chad Plane does CrossFit. Chode Plane is a bodybuilder. Let's put it into that way. <laughs> you also uh, explained something really cool to me, where if you were like on a ship and saw someone go into a black hole. Uh -huh. That it would almost look like they're frozen in time. Well, I mean, it, it, assuming that the light left from them, yeah, and you could still see it, they'd just, yeah, as soon as they cross the event horizon, they would be frozen there it, forever for you. And then wouldn't the they slowly, is, like, wouldn't they, like, like fade? their last, their last image as they went into it would be like, what you it'd see? be frozen. Oh my right? god! I'm, but wouldn't but, they be like, like, start to fade? But basically, yeah, it would. They would just like it'd basically be falling instantly into black, like they. Because no light is escaping, you wouldn't see anything. Yeah, but if you were able to visualize them to you, they'd be like stuck, and then you'd see them like kind of. You'd either see their head or their feet, <laughs> <laughs> depending on which way they go in. It'd be weird. It'd be weird vis visualization. But what yeah. if they were holding a rope? <laughs> you'd and have to get another black hole in, to pull I, it. You know. The amount of time <laughs> Gavin black holes in a tug of war. Yeah. The amount of times that Gavin has brought up having like a rope. Or like some type of thing connecting things in space. I just like the idea of so you and many. Trevor just like at home having breakfast and you're like, Trevor, what's it like going into a little black hole? Well, <laughs> <laughs> a little <laughs> one to. compared to a supermassive. No, it's just yep. like there. I, I'm very, very ignorant when it comes to space and everything like that. And like he clearly knows a lot about it. And so when that news about the black hole photo came out, it was like, start talking about it. Hey, it dude. wasn't just like a random conversation <laughs> one day. So, your plane's getting destroyed. Yeah, well, oh. I gave up on this community years ago, so. You know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. Uh, you guys have failed, Blaine. You ever, you ever followed uh, Reddit? Good, good choice, everyone, by the way. Chad no, Plane. Chode Plane's way fucking cooler. Chode Plane, <laughs> man. What makes it cool, though? What does it do? What does that one thick. do that the other one doesn't do? 
Because Chad Plane's like, it's just so small. Like Chode Plane, Chode Plane, you can completely not small. Chode Plane, the opposite. Chode Plane is can, the largest plane. The you can put one. like a basketball court and a bunch of cars and like a and a weight room. You know when you need to move plane. a basketball court. In from now on, plane. or play basketball uh, uh, in the sky. Right. For now like, on, a supermassive black hole is a Chad black hole, and then the other one is <laughs> a Chode no, black hole. That was definitely a Chode like, black hole that we got a photo Chode of. Chode plane, they would like put a tank in it for a Fast and the Furious movie, and then Chad plane would be like, what's this? Like, It'd be a rocket that blows rocket that tank up. It. <laughs> that goes to space. When they go to space in the Fast and the hey, Furious, the rocket take... is cool. The rocket's fucking dope. I bet. Chad I plane bet taking you. it. It's like Chad training plane wheels. will be in the new Fast and Furious movie. Yeah. <laughs> I just I, I that would be great if it was like <laughs> oh fuck there it is there like, it is Chad plane rules that damn is so cool <laughs> does it need to take off on two runways <laughs> <laughs> yes. that's, a, that's a good question they probably need a special extra wide runway I mean there's it's like not partially that... the runway and partially like the taxiway at the same time well you know when they have runways kind of like two runways side by side that there's yeah. like a little strip of grass in between them well Maybe that's how GTA airport works and some real airports too yep. So it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, oh, I think uh, that's all we had for planes and black holes. You're welcome to stay if you want. No, forever. I'm good. Thank Do you have you. a nice day I today? I, what's up? Do you have a nice day it today? Was a it was a day. <laughs> it was a day. I, I hope I enlightened you a little bit. You did. On planes. Thank you for helping Man, me explain I what I couldn't. I don't. Explain. I don't like that you picked Chad plane or Chode plane. I'm sorry. But I still it's, really respect you. Also, that video of you waving at Matt when he was going through the office was like the cutest shit ever because you, <laughs> oh. you like forgot he was there and then you went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I like my to favorite. Wave at Matt. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> Bye. Bye, Chad. So, Bye, uh, thank you. I talked. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, look at that fucking play. <laughs> that's not real. That's a Photoshop, that but damn, that's real. a cool play. I feel like that plane would try and take off, and both of its wings would just fly <laughs> into each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> the wings are so heavy, they would just fall straight to the yeah. ground. It's all engine. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's just be like the, <laughs> big, <laughs> the biggest clap. <laughs> It'd be like two black holes <laughs> in a rope. I uh, hope someone from that team watches this podcast and starts calling it Chad Plane. Chad. I hope they name the plane Chad. Like officially, yeah. And they just put Chad's face on it. Yeah. <laughs> With the size of <laughs> hair. Um, I'm going to read this other thing here. Uh, I want to remind everyone, this episode of the Received Podcast is also brought to you by ExpressVPN. Uh, admit it, you think that cybercrime is something that happens to other people. Uh, you may think that no one wants your data or that hackers can't grab your passwords or credit card details, but you would be wrong. Stealing data from unsuspecting people on public Wi-Fi is one of the simplest and cheapest ways for hackers to make money. When you leave your internet connection unencrypted, you might as well be writing your passwords and credit card numbers on a huge billboard for the rest of the world to see. Uh, so I decided to take action to protect myself from cyber criminals. I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN secures and anonymizes your internet browsing by encrypting your data and hiding your public IP address. They have an easy to use apps that run seamlessly in the background of your computer, phone, or tablet. And for less than $7 a month, you can get the same ExpressVPN protection I have. It's something we've talked about for so long, uh, having a VPN to protect yourself when you're using um, it, like public Wi-Fi, internet you're not familiar with, or even your home internet. You may as well uh, use it there if you want to be extra safe. Uh, you can protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash rooster. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash rooster. For three months free with a one-year package, visit expressvpn.com slash rooster to learn more. Uh, you should absolutely be doing it. I had uh, a friend of mine texting me over the weekend asking for VPN solutions. I was like, I, have I got a link for you. Uh, so go go check it out. Thank you, ExpressVPN, for uh, sponsoring the repeat <coughs> podcast and for keeping us safe. So... Uh, I told you about that video I watched where uh, the guy kind of breaks down why the black hole photo looks the way it does. It's a very testing video. I just looked at your link. It's good. Uh, but I saw another video the other day that I thought was really good. It was, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen any videos by the guy, Captain Disillusion. It's the guy who's like... Oh, the face guy? Yeah, he's got like half of his face is silver. Yeah, that guy makes good vids. He makes good videos. And he did one about frame rates, uh, which I thought, you know, and the frame rates in video and uh, why we do things the way we do. And I'd never understood why in the U.S., TV was 30 frames a second, but in the UK, it was 25 frames a second. And in his video, he fucking explains it. I guess like when TVs first came out, they didn't really have the technology or like to use processors to regulate the um, the frame rate. Mm. So what the engineers did at the time was they tied it to the electricity current. And electricity in the US is 60 hertz. So it's like, oh, okay, we'll just have that <clears throat> and have a frame every two oscillations. And in the UK, it oscillates at 50 hertz. So like they would half that to 25. 
And that's like why we have NTSC and PAL. Well, the resolutions are different, but yeah. that's why the frame rates are different. And he also talked about why we use 29.97 as a frame rate instead of around 30, mm -hmm. which is something I never thought about. It's like, oh, yeah, you just bung it in at 29.97. It's when they went from black and white to color, the color signal and the audio signal started interfering with each other. So to combat that, they offset the video signal by 0.03 frames. That way it wouldn't bleed over into the audio. It and seems like such a quick fix. Like, well, we've already put this in place. How about that? And then all future technology has to adapt right. to that one moment where they're like, we'll just do that. And it's now all these new standards have to be and, built under that crap decision. And he talks about that. It's like, we don't need that anymore. Everything's, yeah. everything's digital. You don't have to worry about any of that. But it's like, we still have this holdover stuff that, you know, we work in radio production. I don't know if you knew the 2997 thing, but I wasn't aware of that. Yeah, I never knew that's the reason. <laughs> that's, that's why we do 2997 and not I mean, that 30. surely has affected 24. On digital because that's 2398 isn't it yeah right I was say I it, it must be the exact reason. same thing right stupid <laughs> it's so stupid <laughs> I, i'm just glad that i mean we still have pal and ntsc frame rates but at least the resolutions are the same these days right because of hd mm -hmm. and that's standard but, uh, but it's, yeah, it's, it's a real mess between it, two english-speaking countries it's only like a four minute video and i thought it was like super super well done if you have no idea what frame rates are at all it's like he, he starts very basic and then even explain some in-depth stuff like that. It's a super cool video. I highly recommend everyone watch it. Uh, that's like the, what's like the one thing, I think Gavin's would be like slow motion, but the one thing that you could just explain perfectly to someone and they'd be like, wow. Like do something. like a whole TED talk on or something yeah. like that? Yeah. Oh, if you had Chad a TED planes. talk, what would it be? Chad planes. Chad, Chad planes. planes. What would yours be? Like air, air crashes? Uh, Airplane air disasters? safety maybe? Okay. So let's make it a little positive. Okay. Air safety? Okay. Slow-mo? Slow yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, Black holes. Disney movies. Disney movies. I don't know. I, I asked the question. I don't know. What Star I, Wars. I mean, Star Wars. I don't. Protein. What about fitness? Muscle development. I'm, I'm not an authority on many of those things, though. So I don't know. I don't know. Sexual. Or just like something that you know. Uh, not, I wouldn't say like You're, an authority yeah. on, but just something you know enough of so you could talk about it. Yeah. Presentation on. Sure. Maybe not a TED Talk. Maybe, maybe like, uh, like. Short videos, like comedy videos, little things like that. I think I could do a good talk on that. Like writing, or like no, like like comedic delivery. I like them those little Instagram videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you no, make you make good content in very short amount of time. Yeah, that I feel like no one else at the company really even tries. Oh, well, thanks. Oh, I mean, they. I I don't think anyone could compare. You make such great little like you you. Did you ever do them on Vine or was it just Instagram? I did a couple of vines that were actually like, Twitter. I would watch those, now that it's all deleted, they're all gone, but like I watched some vines, you know, like from years before. I was like, oh, these are not, not bad. They hold up pretty well. Yeah. We used to do those vines with Bernie. Yeah. yeah. Those are fun. Yeah, Didn't them. you do one, was it a vine? You did one with like a rocking chair or something that was like a scary one? Oh yeah, in your apartment. That was a vine. Yeah. So yeah, I like think a... I watched that like, well, it's a vine, so I probably watched it like 15 to 20 times. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny. I know it's a Did good one when, when I watch it, and then I want to watch it over and over again. I'm like, oh, yeah, this, is, this is good content. If I can only do that, but like for like 120 minutes. Speaking though. of your videos <laughs> and protein, I have to ask. I watched your video that you put out, I think it was yesterday, about leaving Chicago mm -hmm. and all the protein shakes you drank. Mm -hmm. You were there for three days? Uh, three I got in Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> left Sunday morning. So four days, three nights. You had literally 15 bottles? Yeah. Of protein? <laughs> well, 16, but I threw one of them away by mistake. How? <laughs> <laughs> oh, was it the banana cream one? You threw how that many, one away on purpose, right? How many did you have? I think it was, I think it was 16, 16 total. total. <laughs> so that's... <laughs> I, I love the fact that you do this because it's like, it's just funny to do. But I, I like to think about the... <laughs> I like to think about the failed attempts. Like, what take? Is yeah, each one of those? Here. I mean, most of the time they're like first take, but oh, like okay. this one was like take fifty. Oh, <laughs> I was like, I like, I had some friends, and I was trying to do that the night before. And I had some friends invite me to their hotel room to eat uh, White Castle, and I was too busy trying to make the response video <laughs> that by the time it was done, it was like twenty minutes had passed. I was like, they're probably already asleep. So you didn't even go to no, see that? No, because <laughs> you were making you're that video. Working on your art in your hotel. Yeah. Room. <laughs> but uh, so that means you drink how many a day? I think because oh, like, you're used to doing like the shake. Well, they were only 25 grams of protein each, and I like to get at least one gram of protein per pound of body weight. 
Okay. So factor in the rest of my diet, huh? Per, per day? day? Yeah. Per day. Okay. So, so like if you're 150 the... pounds, it's 150 grams per day. Yeah, but then factor in like I'm gonna have some other meals and stuff like that. So I was like, I was like, I'll I'll do like four ish bottles a day. Okay. <clears throat> but then like when I like and people oh, it pissed me off because people are like, just go down to CVS and buy a tub. And I was like, but that's not funny. Like I bought yeah. like I already have like eight of these things. Like, let's keep going with the bit. It's gonna cost more it's also, money. The, but the it's cost is going to if you bought a tub, aren't those like 40, 50 bucks anyways. The tub would have been, I mean, though, like I was at a hotel and the hotel, it was like super expensive and I was literally legitimately buying them out of all their protein bottles because oh I'd come in there like <laughs> you again and be like, yeah, I don't think they Give me my protein. <laughs> but yeah, no, the funny, the videos were funny to make. But yeah, uh, I think it was 16 <laughs> bottles total. So much protein. I, I, what I'm excited for, I can text this to Eric, but, um, or should I slack it to you, Eric? Uh, what I'm excited about is I left all the protein bottles on a like a cabinet or something in, in the in the room and like whoever comes in later to clean that place up They're gonna be like what the fuck is Did this? you leave him some yeah. tip money? Why didn't he throw it in the trash? Oh, because I've much filled my trash can. I have, a, <laughs> I, have, I have a thing against people uh, Coming into my room and cleaning it when I'm not there. I never yeah, I keep the uh, I keep the do not disturb sign on my door Yeah, I do I too, sin. but sometimes some Bastard takes it and then they walk in on you while you're on the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> Was Dan? Nope. Somebody that we know? Are they here? Is it Brad Barber? <laughs> it's me. She but it's the, a good story. She had the room next to mine. <laughs> Nick's my do not step. I didn't have one. So I. Oh. <laughs> I was doing a two with the door open. <laughs> and the door for the bathroom faced the door to the hall. <laughs> <laughs> and, and there's just. It's an awful wipe when you get interrupted. <laughs> it's because yeah, I was all clenched up and <laughs> that's that's rough. The best part of it is that you came downstairs later that day and you're like, they fucking walked in on me <laughs> taking a shit. I thought I had my sign on the door. And I was like, oh fuck, you did have your sign on your door. And you knew it was my room. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so like, I should have you wouldn't have just taken I it. I should have just taken some strangers. Or just not <laughs> taken it at all and been a good human being. Who oh, knows? <laughs> that's why I like it when it's a light. It's like a button on the inside of the room that just turns oh, the light on. You can't thing. take that. That's good. Yeah, those are cool. Well, yeah. I also I also put the deadbolt on my or not the deadbolt. What's that thing called? The, oh, the uh, a lock? Oh yeah. I put yeah. that on. When anytime. I'm inside, yeah. That is that is kind of your fault, Gav. That's I know, I just assumed that I was safe. I that's was... what I left my hotel cleanup crew. Too. Oh, They're gonna be like, God. what the fuck is this guy's deal? That's gonna fill that bin. My favorite <laughs> bit though was like the night before. So I'm like making this video to send to like <laughs> Max Scoville and Chassis, like a couple of friends of mine from San Francisco. And uh while I'm like trying to stack these bottles up, I could hear my neighbors next door having sex because we had one of those shared door things. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I kept dropping all my bottles so it was just like <laughs> right when they're like in the middle of fucking and they would stop and then go back to it and then I would keep stacking and it kept falling over they probably felt like a <laughs> giant child was playing with the blocks in my room or something they're not wrong <laughs> yeah that's true. does anybody here watch Nathan for you I used to or a couple of episodes seemed like an episode or two it makes me think at one point it's a great show everyone should watch it you should it's absolutely good. watch it it's over they're not making it anymore in one episode, he tried to design and sell this device, which was like an isolation chamber for kids. So you could put a kid in it and they would like <laughs> play games and like be entertained and you could have sex right outside of it. What? And like oh the kid wouldn't hear. God. And he tested it by like putting a kid in it and then having like porn actors come and have sex in a hotel room. Uh, while the kid was in the isolation chamber. That's risky, dude. <laughs> he had a lot of risky things like that. What was the response to that episode? It worked. Wow. <laughs> Thumbs up. Fucking hell. But like, that would have been bad. Like the implications we had that are, oh boy. I'm, I'm sure they knew it worked before they they did that. Oh, there it is. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> they locked him in the... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh no, like the porn stars are like in their robes right there. Does he... <laughs> oh my, oh my god. god. It's like right there. <laughs> Dude. They're like, they know he's there too. I don't know how they would have gotten it up. I guess porn stars, they can just... They whatever. get fluffers. Yeah. I actually, I knew a guy, or no, I knew of a guy who wanted to be a porn star. So in college, he would go to parties and have sex in front of the parties as like a way of practicing. What do you mean? Like on the lawn? 
Oh, yeah, or in, like, the, the room, like, a table or, you know, like, just end the party. Like, if it was a house party, he'd go in and he'd have, like, sex and in the kitchen. people wouldn't be like, you stop. Who's he's like, he's like, like, a, he's like he, an act. He kept getting invited to parties. I'd be like, I'd be like, oh, that fucking guy, no. But he's probably, like, he was, I think he was, like, a good-looking dude. I mean, he, like, went on to be a porn It doesn't star. matter. <laughs> but it just doesn't like, matter, dude. If I'm throwing a party, I don't want that person yeah, there. Yeah, it's like, don't invite Tom. He really fucks looking. all the time. But if he's in the kitchen, they knew that that was, like, his thing, you know. But who's the other person he's having sex with? Some sense. other person. He's there like fire about? dancers, but with sex. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so? What I mean, weird... it is weird, but it's you know. Well, because most people. Well, I mean, I'm speaking for myself. When I go to a party, I don't want to see a lot of genitals. Just want to have just like, like a, a nice party. fair amount. Just a, a moderate amount. Maybe like an accidental <laughs> tit drop. <laughs> yes, but like a spilled tit. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, he went on to become very good at porn. So he's in porn now. I think he's in porn now. No. Yeah. Worked and out for him, I guess. Huh? What's mm. his name? Mm. Who's that, like, really fa uh, Ron Jeremy? Is that the famous porn star? Yeah. yeah. Who looks like a fucking <laughs> troll? Wow. Damn. No, sorry, Ron, if you're tuning in. I'm not sorry. He's a big Rooster Teeth fan. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to make something something cockbite joke, but should, ah, couldn't Should we make a then. poll? Would you be cool if a dude showed up to your party and had sex? I just like the idea of having like one guy shows up and have sex and has sex as if it's just one like yeah. one person can did, do that. Did he, like, bring, a, that? Did he bring a yeah, partner did he bring with him? The woman or yeah, or like did he some like, woman like, that who, nobody knew? Who's for this one? Anyone? Any takers? I mean like some parts that, of it. Like, let me say, what if I just had sex right now, Blaine? Question for you guys. <laughs> like, kind of weird. Um, if there's ever or if there has ever been a moment in your life where you've either A, heard people having sex or B, seen people having sex, let's say like through your window yeah. at a hotel into another window or something. <laughs> do you stop and try to watch or listen, or do you try to get out of there? Uh, I try to leave. Really? Yeah. Uh, if someone was like in the, they, in, they in, like the room next to me, yeah, and I could hear it. I had to make this video though, so I, I stayed for that particular one. Mm. I, I guess I probably <laughs> like. Do you actively try to listen? I'd probably try and hear if they were hot or not. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by listening. No, I don't know how that would work. I totally try to listen. <laughs> nah, it'd probably be funny for like thirty seconds, and I'd have to pull on some headphones or something. When I was checking out, I so they heard me doing the bottle thing next door, and then when I was checking out the next day, <laughs> I saw a couple walking past me, and we all just shared eye contact because they knew I was the guy next to them because they saw me exiting. <laughs> were my you room. carrying any bottles? And I knew they were. No, I was. I was. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, because I, I took one to the airport with me. And uh, there was this moment where we all knew who the other was. <laughs> so largely, people are uh, Against. normal. I would say. Who's the sixteen percent? That is kind of that's higher than I expected. I mean, these are just weird parties, you know. Weird parties? Yeah, like, like, like oh, sex parties. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, because if it's a sex, sex party, then I understand. It's weird though because sex is like the most extreme sexual activity. Like penetrative. Sex <laughs> is the most. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's our title. That's our title. <laughs> That'll get demonetized and you know it. But like sexual intercourse is like that's the top. But if is he it? just if he just <laughs> well like, let's get into like anal and that. <laughs> but if he just stood there, whipped his dick out and jerked off, it would somehow be way more inappropriate, I think. Ye yeah. Well, because like uh Which is like a milder form of because it's one person is instead he... of two. Yeah. Yeah, no, I guess it all depends on like who he's making eye contact with during this act. Oh, so if you just look straight down, it'd be fine? It'd be better than him making direct eye contact at you <laughs> while he fucking jerked off or fucked another person staring right. at you. Uh, mm. All right, I think we're good with the poll. I think we can uh, we can shut it off. 20%? Sorry. That's yeah. fucking high. One in five people <clears throat> are crazy. That means there's several people here right now who probably would be okay with it. I mean, I'd probably Pods. go to that party. Just, well, yeah, Blaine was. <laughs> we pretty much established that. As long as they're not touching the food. The They're on the bowl. snacks table. I'm, I, I have a very strong need for good snacks at parties. There's just a foot in the salsa, and you're just like, I just need to dip my foot. You just need to come on. Wait, um, almost, almost. That so, was a joke. <laughs> yeah, high five. Yeah. Uh, so everyone uh, get their taxes done. Today's tax day. Oh wait, you all aren't American citizens. I still have to do taxes. Still have to file taxes. Uh, I still have to absolutely file taxes. I don't know how that works. <laughs> Guess what? I'm an American citizen. I don't know how your side works. I'd file for an extension. Ah. Uh, there, still, yeah. still have to pay there. I felt yeah. like normally I get it done really fast. This year, 
I don't know, something happened. I, I procrastinated and I waited. I only got it done like last week. But uh did you get money back? Is that a personal question? I don't know. It's not a personal word. question. No, no, I didn't. Okay. Sucks. Normally I do. This year something was different. I did not. Something was different. Is it like a different governing body or something? <laughs> Interesting. Then lost you? Wait. No, never mind. Uh <laughs> yeah, I did my taxes. <laughs> This is great. I got money back. We're all responsible adults. <laughs> yeah. It, it, seemed, it seemed like that was the most, <clears throat> besides sex, that was the most adult thing I could think of when I was a kid. It's like that's when you know you're an adult, when you yeah. have sex and when you're paying taxes. I still don't fucking understand how to do it. No? Mm mm. Renting pay, a pay car taxes. is an adult. That thing. was true. Yeah. There was a, I don't know if you ever watched Adam Ruins Everything, but he had a, an episode a couple of years ago about how the. About why doesn't the government just send you a bill and say this is what we think you owe in taxes Let us know if it's right or if it's wrong. Yeah, because they already have all of your information, right? Mm -hmm. Like your employer already sends uh, All the paperwork w -2 to them, right? So it's like if they already know everything Why don't you just get a paper? That's like this is what we think your bill is that would be fucking amazing Ver Verify it, but apparently in the US like all the tax preparation companies have lobbied the government enough mm. to Where they don't allow that you have to use in most cases, you have to use software, and so it's like, because the software manufacturers like TurboTax and H and R Block, and yeah. like all of those people have set it up this way to where you, they've made it intentionally complicated so you have to use their software so oh, that they yeah. can make money off of it. Adam ruins Still. everything. Is like a smaller uh, last week tonight. You know, like it kind of like blows the whistle on some mm -hmm. things that people aren't aware of. It's interesting. I like that kind of content, but it also makes me realize what a shitty planet we live on. <laughs> yeah. Like I watched Oof. the WWE one. And I was like, ooh. Oh yeah. That's rough. <clears throat> I like last I like last week tonight, but it's always like, well, everything sucks. Yeah. I mean that's just the news though. Isn't I it? feel yeah. like that's true. just the news these days. Yeah. Well, it's true. Agreed. Uh yeah. So shitty. All right. That was someone in uh in <coughs> chat had requested that we talk about finance. There you go. What what is the uh talk. what's the threshold for paying tax? Like the minimum? Yeah. Currently. I don't know. I think you have to report it always, don't you? I would assume so. It's not. A, I don't. I don't know at what point you actually. What's the minimum? What start income? paying? Yeah, like if you earn like two thousand dollars a year, I don't think you pay anything on it. Okay. I think. I think it might be like ten thousand or something. Mm. I'm, I'm sure the government wants its money. If you're, un so if you're unemployed, year, do you're... you have to file a tax return? Uh, I don't know. Anyone in the comments unemployed? So, so, let someone me know was if unemployed in the chat. Had to do or say. a CPA. Uh, okay. In in chat, someone wrote, I don't pay taxes because I'm unemployed. And they did the emoji with the sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. But that doesn't mean you didn't have to do a, a return of some sort. This isn't related to actual taxes, but do you guys ever, like, kind of follow that theory of the stupid tax? Which is, like, if you wasted money on a bad investment or mm. you, like, lost a $20 bill or something, it's like, oh, yeah, that's my, that's my stupid tax. Paying mm. my stupid tax. Huh. I've heard that before. Yeah. I I've heard that term. I balanced it out where I think I'm in a net <clears throat> positive right now where I have like I've lost money on like stupid bullshit or like I lend somebody money didn't get paid back or whatever. But then you can also get like oh your bonus, you know, you're like, oh your your good luck tax or your good luck payout or something where yeah, like you find a dollar bonus. on the street. Or, or if you just rob someone. You rob Ooh. somebody, yeah. That's that's another one. That's like good. Remember that time I accidentally robbed you? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all of the or just I'm like a really or, bad friend. Or when you robbed, <laughs> you robbed me on the podcast. How did that happen? Oh, I gave you that back though, right? No, you lost it. Oh yeah. Wait, what did you do? Gus gave me twenty bucks for something, and I put it in my shirt, and then I couldn't find it. <laughs> Stupid tax. I swear to God. I <laughs> wasn't After the lying. podcast, she's like, I don't know where it went. I was. Like, I who's literally. Stupid tax. They're both stupid for that interaction. I yeah. Think. I, it's just stupid tax. But no, I I accidentally robbed Gavin one time. So I can't remember the details. So we were out. We were at, at drinks? Little Woodrow's. Down south, where we used to get probably drinks. having some sliders and some bevs, and I don't know what happened, but like your wallet was on the table or something like that. I assume we were having a classic conversation about like, oh, I have a little thin wallet and I've got a fat wallet, yeah, just because I have to keep a bunch of shit on and me like, from two countries. In front of you, while you were watching, I took your wallet and put it in my purse, <laughs> and both of us laughed, ha ha yeah. ha, lol, good one. But then <laughs> I didn't take it back out. And then Gavin got a taxi home. Couldn't pay for it. <laughs> and uh, Didn't have his wallet on him. Yeah, didn't have my ID, which, I mean, technically I'm legally required to have on me at all times. Yep, couldn't have Because I'm foreign. 
Some didn't serious have, trouble. Didn't have that either. God damn. Oh. And then I think I couldn't get into the office the next day. Because I, I think you also like you were saying at Jeff's, right? So you couldn't get in either. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> really <laughs> annoying for like 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. But that's a fun memory though. Yeah. It's another fun Whereas, story, courtesy of Barbara. Whereas the other one was Friendship. really embarrassing for like 10 seconds. So, yeah. so follow up on the person in chat who said they were unemployed. <laughs> they said, I am Canadian and I set that for the joke 100% I had to file for tax returns. Uh, uh, well, that's disappointing. Yeah. Uh, have you ever had somebody whose car was towed at your place and then you feel responsible? Is that, does the, does the responsibility rest on you? That was happened. it towed out of your drive? Does the what? I mean, if if it's just on the street, it's not your fault, is it? It was in a parking garage that I was. That in. happened. That exact thing happened to me and Trevor. Oh really? I, I felt horrible. This is when we first started dating, and so I had a reserved parking spot in my uh, apartment garage. Yeah. And I thought it was like mine to do whatever I want with. Yeah. And so I knew he was coming over that day, and so I parked just like somewhere else in the garage, and I was like, "Here's here's my spot number. You could park there." Yeah. He parked there, and then he stayed over. Um, that night, and then in the morning, Sex. he like left my apartment, <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, he texts me. He goes, "My car's not here," and I was like, "Fuck!" And like, sure, I called my apartment, and I was like, "Was there a car towed from my spot?" And they were like, "Yeah, there was a car parked there that didn't have a sticker or anything like that." And I'm like, "Fuck!" Like that's his car, yeah. and it, this is also like. In January, it's weird that they just tow them without checking with you. To right, see if they should tow them. Be, like, uh, there should be a phone number to call. Like, their rule is just like if someone is parked in a reserved spot that's not supposed rule. to be there, they just remove the car. And I was like, it's my spot. Like, right, you can do what you want. I wasn't parked in it. So, and what, if, what if you had a rental or something? Like your car was in the yeah shop. They would tow that out of there as well. Exactly. That was that's my bullshit. argument as well. And <clears> so, like, I went with him to the tow site mm -hmm. and. I paid for it because I was like, it's absolutely my fault because I told you that you should park there and blah, 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 blah. 200 bucks? Yeah. Yeah. It was like some 200, 250 bucks, somewhere around there. But I, it was like, again, very early on in our dating. So I was like, oh my God, like he's going to be like, he's going to break up with yeah, you. Yeah, and now you're going to want to see you again. But he was like, absolutely like peachy about it. The he Barbara was like, text. It's okay. And I was like, oh, I'll pay for it. Like, I'm so sorry. He's like, it's not your fault. That happened to me twice within two weeks. Oh where my god. I was having somebody over, had like this like date night thing, and it was going really well. And I was like, just park on the roof, that's the visitor parking. She did. And then like, you know, we had our date, stuff like that. Watched movies great. It's walking her back out, you know. We're just like it was like a movie moment. We're like opening the door going, because <laughs> one of us <laughs> told a joke and then we look and then where's your car? And uh, you're just like, fuck. So then I had to drive her out like middle of the night. Why did it get towed? To go, because, uh, so there's two levels of our visitor parking. There's the roof and then there's the tippy top roof. Mm. And the tippy top roof is that's where you, you know, the visitors go. Fast forward, I had another really awkward date night that involved a sex shop. Anyways. And go uh, <laughs> she also, I was like, just park on the very top of the roof. And you won't get towed. Same sort of thing. Get home, open the door. <laughs> Where's your car? Your dates sound really annoying. There's no, they're, they're great. Okay. They laugh at me. They laugh at my jokes. So that means they're great. <laughs> so then there's these two spots on the tippy top part of the roof that are not designated as visitor parking. And they like got her on like a technicality. Oh my God. Fucking sucked. No, no better way to ruin a date than to have their car get towed. Ah, yeah. oh, you can make the most of that. You'd be like, you want me to call you a cab or something? Yeah. <laughs> no, oh. No, I mean they no. You gotta you take can them do to something pick up the car. chivalrous. I mean, yeah, I'll drive them out there and I'll you know offer pay and stuff, or I'll like have them stay over until the morning. But it just, still, just fucking sucks. It's like, oh damn, your car got towed. Guess you gotta stay till tomorrow. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, God, that one is awful. <laughs> you just have a friend that removes the car. Baby, for you. it's cold outside. Oh, oh God, it's on no. about creepy. Um, yeah, rough stuff, man. So about that sex shop, you got a cock ring. Nah, so oh. it's a cool date. Had a uh, we went to a drive-in movie theater while we we're out there. Uh, at one point, I left my car and or no, my car key wasn't coming out of the ignition. And I pulled it out and it was bent, and I was like, well, "That's interesting." So I tried bending it back. Snap, break it. And I was like, "Okay, well, <laughs> shit." Should have saw that coming. It's okay. Have a, a spare key on me. So I pulled it out and I was like, "All right, I just need to remember this is my spare key. I need to make sure I don't lock myself in or lock myself out of my car." 
then like fast forward the night went and did axe throwing that was fun and then we went to in and out and you know we're wearing those like silly in and out hats ha 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 and then like there was a whole thing where one of us was betting during axe throwing if this person won the bet then we'd have to go to the sex shop whatever so we go to the sex shop we're wearing our in and out hats we're both just like Ooh, you know uh get back out to the car <laughs> right in front of the sex shop we're both already embarrassed because we're at a sex shop and then um i was like uh yeah, I left my keys in my car. Oh, so I was no. like, I could see him through there. So then we had to call AAA to come <laughs> bail us out while I'm, we're just like hanging out in front of this sex shop. <laughs> How long did it take him to show in up? In and out hats. It was like 45 minutes and oh. it was cold out. So we're like, got to go back in the sex shop. Oh, so we just like God. walk around the sex shop for 45 minutes waiting Why for the AAA guy. Throw a brick at the window. I, th I mean, it was like tempting, but it's a Jeep. It's built strong. So yeah. <laughs> but then the guy showed up and he was like, you guys don't have to tow your car. There's no way. I can, it's, it's unbreakable. I can't get into it. And it's like, you're, you're fucking kidding me. It's like, just just use the, you know. It ended up me just having to stick my arm. He cracked the window just enough that I could stick my giant tree trunk arm in and reached into the ignition and pulled it out. Oh, my God. <clears throat> yeah. That ter uh, The idea of locking my keys inside my car or inside my trunk always terrifies me. Like, yeah. I have to, like, triple check every time. That was also the night. Just later, we get back to our apartment. What a crazy night. Car got towed. <laughs> So was that was like, the same day? That was the same night. Oh, God. <laughs> fucking sucked. Like, it was just like, oh, man. Woo, glad that that's all done. Where's your car? <laughs> also, now that we're in the podcast, you got something in your teeth. But the whole time? Yeah. Oh, it's pizza. I had I stuffed it in. I, yeah. I didn't see I didn't, anything. I didn't see it. Fair. I would have told you. It'll be all right. I'll, uh, I'll leave it in for continuity. <laughs> I'm going to read this thing here. Uh, I want to remind everyone this episode of Receive Podcast is also brought to you by DoorDash. Uh, don't you hate it when you get home, kick your shoes off, and you realize you have nothing to eat in the house? DoorDash connects you to all of your favorite restaurants in your city. Ordering's easy. Just use the DoorDash app and choose what you want to eat, and your dasher will bring it right to you wherever you are. Uh, not only is that burger place you love on DoorDash already, but over 310,000 other amazing restaurants are too. DoorDash connects you with door-to-door -door delivery in over 3,300 cities and in all 50 states across the United States and even Canada. Uh, what's the one dish from your favorite restaurant that you can never recreate at home? What if someone brought it to you right to your door? You can order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite chains like Chipotle's, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A, Cheesecake Factory. Uh, right now, our listeners get $5 off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter promo code ROOSTER. That's $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app from the App Store, enter promo code ROOSTER. Again, that's promo code ROOSTER for $5 off your first order from DoorDash. Uh, you know, I love services like this. Anyone that brings me food, love it. It's great. I don't have to go anywhere. Uh, anyway, thank you, DoorDash, for sponsoring this episode of the Rooster Teeth Podcast. Um, <coughs> there was a thread on uh, the Austin subreddit today. So I guess, you know, today's tax day, but also in Travis County, all, all the property taxes for the year get updated. Like, mm -hmm. this is the day where they release new valuations and you see how much your property tax, if you're a homeowner, if mm -hmm. you know how much property tax you have to pay in the coming year. And the thread on Reddit, it was, it's super depressing because everyone's like, yep, now uh, my property tax is officially more than my mortgage or than my principal and interest uh, on my house. Damn. It's, you know, it's a, it's a crazy side effect in that, you know, Austin is so popular and people want to move here that it's like, oh, the taxes always just continue to go up yeah. because there's limited, uh, limited housing supply and city needs to, you know, try to figure out a way to raise money. So that's what they do. They raise they raise the value. So I decided to look. I bought, you know, I moved back in 2014, right? And I bought a place. And in those five years, between 2014 and now, I now pay $200 more a month in property tax. That's $2,400 a year. <laughs> the, from just overnight? Well, like between 2014 oh, and 2009. Oh, so over four, five years, five years, it's gone up $200 a month. It's like, imagine, you know, if you're renting and your rent goes up like 200 bucks a month. You know, it's it's just nonstop. You, you could conceivably buy a house and be like, I can totally afford this house. Then in a few years, you're like, I can't afford this house anymore. That I wonder how many people do have changed. to just relocate. Or especially the people, because they like tear down a bunch of houses and like make really expensive ones, which I'm sure then would it raise the, the property right. tax of the ones that just hold out and are in the old ones to the point where they just have to move. Right. And I'm sure it happens very regularly. And if yeah. where you can move, you have to move somewhere like further away. And some places don't even have property tax. Do they not? Yeah. Okay. No, not, <laughs> not, not here. Not here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's the main way. And I think the uh, Texas legislature was trying to pass a law where they would increase sales tax to try to 
stop property tax increases. Mm -hmm. But then people point out, well, then that unfairly affects like renters, or right? Or renter or like people who can't afford to live, who can't afford to buy a house. Like now, everything they buy is more expensive in order to save money for people who can't afford to buy a house. So, what determines property tax? Is it the plot of land or like the size of the house in square feet or like the value of the house? Right. Like they assign a value to your land and to your your house, the improvements that you've done on the land. Yeah. And then that's, and then every year they'll, they'll increase it. And you can file for an extension. Like if you, or I'm sorry, you can file for an exemption. If you live in a house, you can say that you live there as your primary residence and then they'll, they can only increase it so much. They can't increase it as much as they normally would. I'm still waiting to hear back from my apartment how much my rent has gone up because I'm still renting. I bet it's going to be a ton. And I'm not looking forward to it. Is, do you renew your lease soon? Yeah. And I think we're going to stay there because I like it. But, uh, that's good. Yeah. Shit sucks. I know I, it's always annoying when they raise it a lot, but haven't done anything to improve the living situation mm. with the apartment. It's like you're just raising it for the sake of raising it. Well, I'm sure their property their taxes property have taxes. gone up too, so they've got to offset it. Very true. It, it all trickles down. Are you typing in the chat while you're on the podcast? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I see a winky, a winky face, face to Megan and Alyssa. By. Yeah, I, I communicate with the people. See? From, from the rest of the podcast, only communicate with me through the chat. I was laughing. It's going to be on a delay. <laughs> Because I'm not going to, well, I'll say who it was. Tim just walked in and TPG? was like subtly looking at the pizzas. He went through all four boxes and then he finally settled on the last one. And he pulled a piece out and then like as if like no, like to hide it, put it like held the pizza like this on his side. <laughs> <laughs> he just like walked away with it like. Can we get food cam next week? Cool. Can we get like motion lights? Like if someone goes for the food, it's like, that's yeah. great. But like the lights come on and the camera. You're like cuts. a raccoon? Yeah. <laughs> Just send oh, yeah, out definitely. a send out a message being like extra pizza. I just saw your message, guys. Thanks. I I I I eat podcast food every week that I'm not on. Uh, why? Because a lot of it <laughs> like ends up getting taken home, and I'm hungry. You guys are it's true. Me. There's a lot of excess every week. Yeah. So I don't blame. Yeah, you. we don't have a whole department who would want that. Thanks, Blaine. Do you guys take out all the pizzas at the end of this thing? What, what kind of question well, is that? They don't throw it away. Well. Okay. I will also say broadcast gets their lunch provided by the company more than I think anybody. Oh, I uh, want to talk yeah, about the lunch dick, we Eric. got today. Lunch tax is going up. Not anymore. Not anymore. We haven't had lunch in a while. Oh. What was lunch today? So oh, we had the was weirdest. So un so weird. <laughs> Once a week, <laughs> Rooster Teeth very graciously buys lunch for everyone <laughs> in the company. And today's that day. It's Did Monday. You see what it was? Nor no. Normally, you go. You, you we get an email in the morning. It's like this is what you're. Your lunch is going to be today. Yeah. Today's was really weird. I was like, I'm surely I'm not reading this right. I was like, I'm just going to wait till lunch shows up and I'm going to go down there and see what there is. <laughs> there was, it was a mashed potato bar. A ma what? A mashed potato That's what bar. That was? Yeah. You load. We your had tubs of mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes <laughs> and then you put stuff on top of it. Yeah. I, I was like, I had some mash. I was like, well, this is clearly like the side of something. Where's and the entree? And I was like, getting thing. And then it, then it looked like a bunch of like, Taco toppings and like green yeah, cheese, cheese and like and sour tomato cream. and that yeah and sour cream was like I guess there's gonna be a tortilla at the end of this and it then there was gravy and I was like okay yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what's on my plate but the, I'm gonna the guy it. who organizes the lunch was coming down the line telling everyone there's been some confusion it's a mashed potato bar <laughs> yeah <laughs> but that's the not... mashed potatoes the entree he's like it's, it's not, not a, side. a side Jesus Christ so I had like a tiny little <laughs> sliver of mash and then just a bunch of toppings. That was the main meal. It was I, very strange. I was willing to give it a shot, but I was like sitting there eating. I was like, what is this? I mean, to be fair, there also was like pieces of chicken that you could put on your plate as well. It's, it was labeled spicy chicken, but Who it wasn't puts very spicy. chicken on mashed potatoes, though? I don't know, but that's Who why I think that there's like mashed potato protein. apart from gravy. It was like a. Oh, dude. It was like a baked potato bar, but without the skin, it's like, yeah. you're missing the best part. You get the fucking, you get uh, green onions, sour cream, maybe some cheese. Are you talking for a jacket potato? For for a baked potato, yeah. No, you don't call it a jacket potato. I, no. Listen, I'm so thankful that a they provide lunch. Potato? But like, I I basically I think I may eat one out of every five of the meals that they provide because it's just like I can't like lasagna. It's like I it's my Monday morning <laughs> time to take a nap at three p.m. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like I got I got to go get like chicken breast or something. Yeah, there's been a couple times, um, and I love Italian food, but when we have like all Italian for lunch, and it's like. Four different types of pasta, lasagna. Like, mamma mia, I cannot eat that much. <laughs> like, and bread. It's just, yeah, and like garlic bread. And I'm like, carb heaven right here. Yo, 
um, there was a a short that we filmed last week. I was not involved in that. I wasn't in that short, so I was like in my office all day. Then at one point, Mariel came by. She's like, "Oh my god, there is so much food left. Go eat it!" Like oh. she's trying to get everyone to go by and eat uh, all the food that they had catered. Yeah, because it was for a smaller shoot. crew that day. A lot of people were out of the office. I guess. Yeah, it's been weird with. Uh, Arizona Circle filming, and then yeah, thanks guys. A lot of a lot of uh, people Dude, have been out. We're having so are a you like fucking blast? Are you like just out of the office then? Doing I'm. I this is my first day back in the office, and I think two or three weeks. Yeah, everyone, I've, everyone I've spoken to who's working on it has said it's been like the best thing they've done. It's yeah. it's a lot of fun. I'm very yeah. jealous. I we're we're posting a bunch of pictures and stuff like that, and I think we should have something to show for RTX. But like, we're all having a blast. It's gonna be really crazy and stuff. But yeah, like I've been out. That's that's awesome though because like craft services my breakfast and lunch are paid for so I just got to show up to set and I'm already fed and they've had like pretty healthy meals and stuff like that So I'm just like cloud nine right now <laughs> You guys have all been on to some degree, right? Yeah. Have you had a part? Yeah, Gavin did they they cast you you're always so busy though. Yeah, Gavin's too busy for other That's things for me yeah. Although I did for some reason today I was thinking about uh, 11 little roosters mm -hmm. and I was just like I want to watch that first episode again and I was like, this was a fun shoot. Well, it was just was like, fucking good. That whole, pilot was great. Whole bunch of people from Rashid that I don't we don't get to typically be in cast with, like a bunch of you guys. <laughs> I called you a bitch in that episode. Oh yeah, you did. That was funny. Wait, ten or eleven? <clears throat> eleven. Eleven. Ten so, was the first one. Ten, yeah. Okay. Oh, well, eleven. I worked on yeah, eleven. Yeah, you were, yeah, you you wrote and directed with Josh. <laughs> yeah, that was on fun. Eleven. And because you were so important to that shoot, you wouldn't eat the liquid that was on the floor of the armory. Oh, the pickle juice. The pickle juice water. I wanted to. I know. I know. We talked about this recently. Yeah, but like they wouldn't like, let you do it. stand down. I was like, it's just pickle juice. Could <laughs> be was... urine. A homeless person probably pissed in that. It's like, oh, I don't think anybody would have done that. <laughs> it, it looked like it'd been there a long time. You shouldn't have had that. Pickle juice is good. Electrolytes. I love pickle juice. I love pickle anything. Yeah, but this the pickle. It's just vinegar, isn't it? Yeah. What is it? It's just yeah, I think it's just vinegar, vinegar and cucumber <laughs> juice. <laughs> It's good for you. It's, it's tasty. How is that good for you? I hate cucumbers, but man, I fucking I love pickles. Cucumbers are so much better. Yeah, you than... do hate cucumbers. Ugh. Wasn't there something that like you're at a fa fancy restaurant and there was a dish that, that had like little cucumbers on it? It happens all the time. And you're like, fuck it. Fancy people like cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. They just kind of taste like garbage. Well, like just like <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just like a water, but in solid form, but no. not iced. Terrible. You know, that's How like do you feel about celery. Celery. I love celery. Yeah, it's just like nothing in your mouth. It's like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with cucumber. It's so inoffensive. I've I never don't like understood. zucchini. Really? Yeah. I think zucchini's fine. Zucchini's like the one food that I'm not too fond of. Yeah, I don't like it. That, Courgette, rank. That and mashed potato bars. Yeah, my two gripes. <clears throat> mushrooms can go fuck themselves. What the fuck? Yeah. I like raw mushrooms. I like all mushrooms. I don't like any mushrooms. If you're bad. Go on poop. Mushroom sauce, mushroom soup, delicious. Pass. They get a bit soggy and rubbery when they're cooked. Mm. Don't like them. Don't trust them. <laughs> Don't trust them. <laughs> Don't trust the way it moves. <laughs> I like them. Uh, so we're close on time. We have a little longer to go. I had, I, had, I had to buy something I never had to buy this past weekend. I've had a problem in my backyard where I have, I have security cameras outside. Mm -hmm. And for the past couple of weeks, I've had a problem where I keep seeing this fucking possum in my backyard. <laughs> And I had a possum the other day as well. It, it's and it, at first I, like, I didn't care. It's whatever. There's a there's a possum. It's fine, but now the possum's got babies, mm. and I see it like a fucking Protoss carrier in Starcraft. It's got like all these little possums <laughs> over it. And it's like they're falling off all the time. It's like this thing's fucking dropping possums. And it lives everywhere. in your backyard. It's like fumbling its possum. <laughs> yeah, it's like they're, like there's little possums chasing it, and uh, it's like I got, I got to do something about it. So I was reading up. I was like, what can you do about possums? And at first I thought like, oh, you, you trap them, right? You trap them and then someone comes and takes them. Can't trap them. If you trap a possum and like take it away, then the possum's lost. And like, it, it doesn't know where it is, right? And it, like it'll die. Oh my God. It's like, ah, oh, fuck. Can't do so, that. But it's a it's wild like possum. Right. And but my, my fear is like, I don't care if the possum's there, but my fear is that one night if I take my dogs out, like the possum's going to be there and they're going to get into a fight. Mm. So I Your like, dog could take it. No, this possum's bigger than my dog. Possum this would win. This possum, and it's got backup. It's carrying like <laughs> babies on it. <laughs> um, so I was like, what, "What do you do about possums?" Well, what I read was you buy fox urine. And so what I had to do was I went and I bought fox urine and I sprayed fox urine all over my backyard uh -huh. to try to scare the possum that away. That doesn't sound like something you should buy. 
at 3.30 this morning, that fucking possum with all the babies on its back walked through my fucking backyard. Fox urine doesn't work. Maybe you didn't spray enough. Uh, that's right. I'm going to go home right now after work. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking cover that yard <laughs> in fox piss. How, it, how do you even buy fox piss? Um, you buy it at a sporting goods store. I went to the academy up here by the, uh, by so the studio. So someone is making a living out there, like milking foxes into a- I don't think, I don't think you milk a fox to <laughs> get piss out of it. They're pissing in a bucket. <laughs> it's not milk, but you're milking him. Yep, someone someone out there collects fox urine, and uh, you can buy it in a little one-ounce spray bottle for five bucks. What other pisses can you buy? I don't know. Uh, all I wanted was fox. That's all I saw. <laughs> Did it stink? Did yeah, it smell like piss? I, I tried to like. avoid smelling it. Uh, I wore, I wore well, smell it tonight. latex gloves while I used it. Yeah, smell it tonight. Let All right, I'll smell it. I'll, I'll do a live tweet, stream. I'll tweet how know. the fox piss smells. Could you... Hashtag fox piss. Does possum piss keep away a fox? <laughs> I think a possum piss would attract a attract fox. A fox. We've already found smell. out what the fox says. Have we found Maybe. out what the fox smells like? Piss. It's piss. piss. Could you not... <laughs> Before you did that, did you attempt to pee in your... Have you peed in your own backyard? Uh, I have not. <laughs> Why not? It's like it's the most because because I have toilets. Yeah, yeah. it's a freeing sensation peeing out in your in your yard. Have you done it in nature? Yeah, you know well, I don't have a backyard. We've have, you evolved, have you pissed we've... in your balcony? <laughs> I pissed in so, uh, no, because I'd be like hitting ah. I pissed in a random guy's backyard one time. Yeah, was I it like I told a party? Story. No, it was. Was, uh, there, was there people having sex at that party? <laughs> no, <laughs> it was someone who I um, this is a couple like two years ago. Someone I hooked up with and nice. They lived in like the mother-in-law suite thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And this person, he owned the house too, but he had like ten of his buddies in town, and it was the middle of the night. I woke up. There was no bathroom in the mother-in-law suite, and it was pouring rain and like pitch black. I didn't know how to get into the house to go use the bathroom. Oh. I also didn't want to like stumble into the house and like <laughs> accidentally yeah. step on a dude, whatever. <laughs> and so I just squatted in his yard and pissed. I'm just imagining <laughs> like some guy looking out his window and then lightning crashes and he sees. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely not uh, my proudest moment. Uh, <laughs> Did, I, also, was it raining really hard? Did you get like soaked while you were doing it? No, it was like drizzling. Okay. How but did you not piss all over your shoes? I didn't have shoes on. Did you piss That's all over your feet? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just tried to like do my best, like lean back <laughs> while also squatting. The problem was there was no toilet paper, so I just shook. God, <laughs> damn, dude. <laughs> They probably thought like, and you're you're like quite a classy man was outside. You're like quite a classy person when you want to be, and then when I now I'm just be. imagining you just shaking piss off of your vagina uh -huh. in a lawn. Uh, a lot of yeah, I, I guarantee you that there's probably some ladies in the chat who have had to pee in the woods or somewhere, and or in a stall that didn't have toilet paper and had to just do a little shake. Do you not just carry some on you for an emergency? No. In your purse, there's no bog roll, just like a little. I could probably count on my hand the number of times I have I've needed toilet paper and didn't have any. You, but you, you think it would have right? Kleenexes, yeah. Would do. Yeah, wouldn't it have made made up for the, the like your whole life's worth of carrying bog roll for that one moment where for you needed moment? to use it? Probably. I get it. It also would have been nice to actually use a toilet in that situation <laughs> <laughs> and not piss in some stranger's yard. <laughs> <laughs> for all fun. I know, the guys inside the house were still awake and were watching me pee in the yard. Who knows? I guarantee you they were. Yeah, probably. Yeah, not my, not a great moment. No, I've never in, pissed in, in my own backyard. You in, should give it Other a people have. In chat, BB McBeaverson says, I bet they didn't have any possums in their yard. <laughs> <laughs> not after that. <laughs> you did it. Yeah, uh, if you want me to come pee in your yard, I'll do it. I'll let you know if, uh, <laughs> if the fox piss doesn't work. Uh, anyway, no, Blaine, I haven't, because we've evolved to the point where we have toilets, and uh, I pee in toilets. It's like, nice peeing out in the yard. Like, hearing pee I'm not an hit animal. grass is, like, the can, best ASMR. I can like, open a window if I want in my nice? bathroom. It just it just feels good, you know. In your ears? Well, no, like yeah, but it's just like peeing. It's just a freeing sensation. Why don't you just shut your eyes in your bathroom? I might and miss the toilet. Oh, that's a good point. I actually I got a uh, I hung a, a thing, and it's uh it's a it's the screen from Star Wars whenever they're like going down the trench run of the Death Star, and it's the Navi computer. And it says it's like the little counters like do 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 do, and it's stay on target. And I have that hung above my toilet. Let's stand target. Stand target. That's very on brand for Blaine. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's wrap this up. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, we will see you guys next week.
You haven't pissed Goodbye. anyone's mouth. Bye. No. Would you? Hey, everybody. Chad. Hope you enjoyed this episode of the Receive Podcast. Chad wanted it. If you like this kind of content, make sure uh, you like this video. Also, subscribe to this channel. Uh, whether you like Chad playing, Chode playing, Chode. No playing, Chonk playing, Chad. Chonk playing. Um, we got that every week. We're here doing that kind of content. 